Good morning everybody, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here. And today is our Christmas cook. Um, I think everybody's doing their Christmas cook today. I think uh, Burstall Garden Centre have got a Christmas cook going on. Uh, I know there's a Christmas masterclass going on somewhere. So, uh, well, we're doing our Christmas cook for free. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna do not traditional Christmas cook. Why is Andy going? But anyway, what do we want to know? <laughs> Now you haven't told me something. Anyway, <laughs> right. Anyway, I can't see the comments. I can see Helena's logged in. No, but that's not so good. So here we have Helena on the keyboard oh, well, with her gonks, <laughs> and we've got bubbles today to celebrate. Um, of course, on camera today. Hooray! <laughs> Back. We've got oh, Andy. Yeah. She is well wrapped up. Oh, like Mitch. She's got woman. two cut coats on. <laughs> we've got the fire. The RB73 <clears throat> going kicking out it's because i'm in the shade yeah well it, the sun is so low but hey so she's got know. the pop so yeah if the camera goes all a bit fuzzy it's then uh, we know what it is anyway mm -hmm. i'll pass you back thank you so yeah three cooks um we're going to do something turkey-ish traditional we've got a gratin and i think i showed you the pictures during the week we've got a, a root vegetable gratin that's we're going to add another root veg to it today uh, but we've already got one cooking because they take a little while so I'll show, you, I'll show you that in a minute and we are going to do some tarts some lemon tarts for dessert and they are delicious we had those during the week so we will crack on so I think we're going to get the turkey going uh, we're not it won't be finished by the end of this but we're going to put it onto the egg we're going to put it onto a rotisserie but I'm going to stuff it first must apologize for our neighbors are doing some work um, so if you hear hammering and all of that stuff, um, hopefully we've cracked the internet. Um, we have a new Wi-Fi thing. Um, yeah, it's been a horrible two weeks of bad website, bad Wi-Fi, bad everything, but it's all coming together. Right, over here, Andrea. Okay. Um, he says, oh yeah, there it is. I thought I'd left it all inside. Heck. Right, we have a turkey crown. Uh, I'm just going to move the baking stuff out of the way because I don't want to get any uh, stuff, on, stuff on it. So I bought a two kilo turkey crown on the bone and what I have done this morning, because I didn't think it would make that great uh, viewing, is I've deboned it. Now you could get your butcher to debone it, uh, be a lot easier than trying to do it. I had to learn this morning so take the, take the wings off and then, uh, and then just just scrape away at the carcass to take it off. So that's what a two kilo turkey crown looks like when it's been deboned. So we'll flip this over. I'm gonna put it on the board. I'm not sure what else we need the board for. I'll wipe it down. I'm gonna turn it over and you see that basically there are two, you can see how I've hacked it up, but two turkey breasts with the skin still attached. And what we're gonna do is butterfly those out. So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna get, just hold it with your hand and then put your knife flat and I'm going to try and cut down the middle not try not to cut my hand yeah please but just to cut down the middle to open it up and then you can fold that bit back so basically you're just getting more real estate doing it backwards is going to be fun mm -hmm. but anyway should have turned it round but we'll persevere now you don't want to cut all the way uh, through you want to just fold it out like that we've got a bit of skin down here but we're going to use that to fold back over it so our stuffing dead easy and we did this on a chicken breast during the week well last weekend wasn't it was delicious so i have probably not very traditional over here but i've got uh chorizo uh, about two thirds of a chorizo ring you know one of the loops you get in the supermarket mm -hmm. i've just chopped up I've got an apple chopped up into little chunks. I've got a good amount of parsley chopped up into little chunks. It's just gone all Yeah, it's gone everywhere. You know me. <laughs> uh, and to that, I'm going to add an egg. Hang on a sec. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs first. So I've got some breadcrumbs. I just, uh, in the blender, just chuck some uh, sliced white in there. I'm going to put in a good amount of breadcrumbs. I don't know that I'm going to need all of these because I didn't actually measure anything like usual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna put it. breadcrumbs in there and we're gonna put an egg in there and that will just help bind it and set it but the breadcrumbs will soak up any juices that come out of the turkey that's the plan so we're just going to get those and mix them all together 
and this is going to be our stuffing. Now it's not a, a wet, really wet stuffing. All right, that could take a couple more breadcrumbs. So we'll go in with a little bit more. That was three slices, so I reckon two and a half slices would be about spot on. Maybe that's, yeah. Right, so now we've got this lovely stuffing. Now we could put some seasoning in there. So, yeah, just put a bit of pepper into it. Now this is my clean hand, so <laughs> cleanish, it's our house. Oh, I did touch the turkey, but anyway. Don't do that at home. Right, we're gonna get this stuffing out now and we're gonna put it all over our turkey. Just try and pat it out, spread it out. It's a bit like making a porchetta. I nearly said porchetta there, oh, and I know Mark yeah. would have killed me. <coughs> Is Mark on? Smokes fine food? Okay, so it doesn't matter if I call it a porchetta. <coughs> Might matter to the guys from Della Vita though. Yeah. So Joe and Simon. Simon, I did say I'd wear my apron, so here you go. Yes, sir, it has been. Um... We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So what we're now going to do, take these bits and roll them. Yeah, roll it back on itself, roll it back up. And the idea is that you get the flappy bits, get it all rolled, and you bring it all back together. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is where it gets tricky. So I'm just going to get these leftover bits. I am just going to give my hands a very brief little wash. So go over to Helena, okay. and Helena can tell, her who's, tell us who's got on. Good morning. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, Kerry's just joined. Darren's joined. Hello, Kerry. Hello. Uh, we've got barbecue with Jake. Uh, Jane Bleakley. We've morning, got Jane. Adam. We've got Nicholas Palmer. We've got Phil. We've got Jeanette. Hello, we've got Phil. Dom. <gasps> Carnish Carnivore. Um, we've got. I can, uh, bless him. I never remember his name. Um, Paul Johnston. Paul Johnston. Yeah. Morning, Paul. Uh, Anita. Uh, Mrs. Pitmaster Pedro. Morning, Mrs. Pitmaster Pedro Anita. Uh, Nick Wood, Ross from Sorry, Rome. Sorry, I've already used it as a tea towel. Joined quickly, I think. Um, Charlie Goldring, Karen, Ian Bevan, John wow. Richard. Oh, Samantha. Samantha, yeah. Rod, Rod, Morning, Samantha. Uh, who love always likes my. She's always the first person to like every post that we put on Insta. Uh, so carry yeah. on. Rodney. Who's, re who's watching from Barbados? So oh. I'm very jealous. Oh, yeah. uh, we love Barbados. Happy Hooker Barbecue, Dan Farkas, uh, Sarah, <gasps> Louise. If you Smoking can, Rodney, Pelt. two places to go. You probably know this already. Uh, Shakers. Shakers in in Bridgetown. we really little place. Doesn't look much. Love it. And so one of our customers knows the owners, which is really random. We found it by chance. And then Lone Star, yeah. uh, which is halfway up the west uh, west coast. Yeah, love it. Right, let's crack on. Oh, now I've got semi-clean hands. Okay. So we're going to do <coughs> some tying up, which I'm never that good at. So the idea with butcher string is that you put it down somewhere and then you get your string and pull it underneath. Now I'm going to try and get this tied up a bit. You pull this over the top. We've done this before. And put it put it create a loop so pull it let's, sure let's try. Way yeah watch it so, so so put your finger in put your finger on <laughs> on the top put your thumb on put loop wrap it through the loop and then bring it down through that and you cut a little slip knot then that's the idea so what we're going to try and do is pull this as tight as we can to get it all pulled together I'm pulling the wrong string which isn't a, isn't helpful and then once you've done it you can then just tie two loops one two the butchers make that look dead easy and then you get your lovely savonac butcher's knife and cut it off and then we'll do a few more of those so under there um scott rear project on uh youtube i've linked it in the recipe perfect scott makes this look so easy uh, he should do, he's a butcher, so follow him. So we're going to tie it up again, so a couple of extra knots just to hold it. They do this in like milliseconds and then cut them off. And the idea is that you get all your knots in a row at the right pl place. It's going to fly off the table. 
So under, down through the hole. You could do this with Helen as Christmas present, just say. Yeah. I mean, not the what? So the oh, not the turkey hang on. thing. Ends falling off, but that doesn't matter. Right. What I'm going to do then? Take that off. I might put a couple more on, but this bit that's all fallen out, we can squidge it back in. And that's why I kept that end bit of skin. You can just pull it over the top. And what we'll do is we'll tie it long lengthways. So exactly the same. Do one of these. Any comments, Helena? Uh, while I'm you, quiet uh, so and um, concentrating. Another, another couple of shout outs. One yeah. to ben Jarvis Insta. And uh, the Irish Egg has just joined. Morning. Oh God, now you're going to put me on the spot. You know I can't do that when you do that to me. Um, the, we met, uh, I had a little dance with him. Yeah, yeah, he was very uh, drunk. Sizzle fest. At Sizzle Fresh. Weren't we all? But anyway, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Right, I'm going to put a couple more on and then we're going to get this on a skewer. Uh, did you take the skin off that? No, skin is on. It's just okay, upside down. Oh, have you written out with the skin on? <laughs> skin off. I said to take the skin off. No, no, skin on. <laughs> Yeah, skin on because it holds it all together. So I'm just going to put a final tie in that bit that's got the. Oh, I'm holding it. Um, that's got the skin there. So Phil Chapman from uh, Baldock, who's the butcher there, he and and of course Miles, our butcher, um, would be make that look a lot more pretty. I might. Put, no, no, that looks that cool. Looks, that I'm, looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah, just. I think that's all right. Um, so, have we got any butchers on? Yeah, yeah, to yeah, rate yeah. it. We need yeah, mark, mark out of 10. We need ratings. Right. So, we're going to take this and I'm going to shove this and try and get it roughly through the middle, which I think I've done quite well there. And then we'll put our spike in. Good job. We'll spike it from the other end. Do you know what? We're actually maybe starting to look like we know what we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Just gonna wash my hands. So back to Helena. Comments, back to Helena. Uh, right. Uh, I don't think we've got any questions. Um, so we can give a shout out to the Irish Egg. Big Nose Barbecue's just joined. I don't want to call him Stuart, but it's not Stuart's. Sean. Uh, um, Rich Jakes has just joined. The Chili Dog Company has just joined. Whoa. So, yeah, no, we're all good. I don't think anyone's got any questions yet. Oh, sure. Oh, Sean is the Irish egg. Yeah. That's it. That's what Andrew just shouted out. Sorry, missed that. Yep. Missed that. Right, yep. are you ready? Andrew? Oh, I'm coming back. Sorry. I was having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? I'm just going to put some oil over this. I'll put it over all sides. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of seasoning on it because we haven't put any. We put a little bit of black pepper in there. I have washed my hands now, so we're all right. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of salt over the top, and a little bit on the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper on the top. Now, I know I always tell you black pepper burns at a really low temperature. That's fine, because we're going to do it at fairly low temperature. So let's take this. Mm -hmm. Now, I probably want a thermometer in it, but I'll just do that in a minute. For our egg. It's actually crept up a bit. I'm going to do it at 160, 170. So I've got the Let's Q rotisserie on here. It's already spinning. So we go in right handed with the Let's Q. And we're going to just put that over the fire. Now, some people have commented when they're cooking chicken and those sorts of things um, that they burn whatever their meat is and so on. Um, I think what you, need, what you just need to do is just turn it down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go in with a meter. I've got the block, so I'm just going to put it on Wi-Fi, only because we can do it now. We'll stick that right into the centre of this, and off we go. And we'll leave that just spinning. Now, you won't see that until later, but that's one. Done. Yes. Kerry said, could you cut some fresh If you go over, Andrea, because okay. I'm going to just clean this board down a bit. Are you going to listen? Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Could you tuck some fresh herb sprigs in the strings? Oh, yeah. You can tuck, tuck yeah. a bit of rosemary in there. Yeah, you could make it look a little bit... <coughs> More yeah. festive. Oh, excuse me. Pop, pop, pop. Just wipe the board down and then put my hands okay. back. Right. I've asked everyone else what they might be planning to cook for Christmas or this oh, weekend. Yeah. And? I haven't got any answers yet. Oh. 
something. Well, I've seen this yet, have they? No. I don't know. Well, Phil's going to have it, says he's going to give it a try because he's actually in Spain for Christmas. Ah, oh, Phil. Oh, Mary's just joined. Morning. There you go. How many of you are in Spain? Just you and the missus, Phil? Shouldn't ask that, should that's very personal. Right, so we're clean down on that. And we're clean down on a knife, just about. Right, I don't know that I actually need a knife for anything else. So, right, so that's our <laughs> turkey on. Kerry <laughs> says, oh, we're coming to you for Christmas. <laughs> Join the madhouse, yeah, yeah. Right, over here, I'll bring it over, Andrew. Oh, okay, I was just heading over. Yeah, I have, let's get this out of the way, that out of the way. Four little pre-cooked pastries. Um, so we've got these little tins. All we've done is put some short crust in there. I put uh, some parchment. parchment, some of our little beads. What are they, baking beads? Yeah, you can use rice. Yeah, rice or baking beads. Put them in the parchment. Cooked it for about seven minutes. Seven so to ten. Is, is that the blind baking that's, bit? That's the blind baking bit. Then take them out, cook them for another three or four, something like that. I'm looking at Helena here. Yeah, and they've, they've just cooked and they're just starting to go crispy around the edge. So what, and now they're out cooling. So what we're going to do with those is make um, a beautiful lemon. Uh, and now there's enough here for eight. I need to update the recipe because I've actually only put one uh, sheet of puff paste and need two. Um, okay, right. So we've got four eggs in here. So I'm just going to whisk them up. Is it baking? What's going on? Me I baking. Was just gonna say, what's going on? Right, four eggs. Sugar. Lots of sugar. 150 grams. 150 grams, I've been told, from the distance. By my measurer. Get that in, get that nicely incorporated. We've got the zest uh, of two lemons and a lime. Get that in there. Nice. Oh, it's gonna be lush. Uh, I did need my knife, that's why I cleaned it. So we're going to go with our lemon. Zzz. We're going to cut these. So we've had the zest off them, our lemons and our limes, and now we're going to put add that to our mixture. So you've all seen me use this before, my little lemon squeezer. Love it. So we'll get these all in. It's going to be lush. Oh, these were so good. Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, I haven't done it yet. I was going to th I was thinking about doing it during the cook, but I haven't. I'm going to fire up the Della Vita uh, and cook these on there later. Um, because we went to the Della Vita uh, partner day on what day Wednesday. Is it? Wednesday. Uh, really nice day. Re such a lovely company. Family, you know, well, yeah, they're almost feel like family, don't they? Yeah, I haven't forgot the cream. Uh, and it was just such a lovely day with the guys there. Uh, Sue Stoneman, who's often on here, uh, was there cooking because she's a Della Vita, uh, part, uh, Della Vita ambassador. Uh, she's at Burstall today doing a cook. I think for Kamado Joe, so we won't talk about that. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's the cream going in. How much cream? 100 ml. 100 ml of cream. Um, so yeah, we had a brilliant day there. They cooked us, because um, the, the, the Della Vita's, you know, it's not just a pizza oven. So we had, you know, we had uh, prawn skewers. We had some amazing chicken skewers by a Michelin starred chef, which was unbelievable, as well as Marco. Bless him. Love Marco. Um, I know I've got to put it back in the jug. Is that what you're about to tell me? Okay. So at the moment we're making uh, some... I'm just getting it, getting it out there. We're going to put it back into the same jug because it makes it easier to pour them. Look at that. And then we're going to pour them into these little cases. And hopefully I won't drop them. There might be. Oh, look at all those lemons and limes mm. going through it. We had these, they were so good. Oh, there we go. Right, so these can go in. Now these. Um, if you have a look at this egg, oh god I've spilt them, oh, rubbish, um, always, 180 degrees on the nose, now I am using the Egg Genius 
So these are going to have slight black bit around the, the crust now. I've just spilt a bit on them. Why didn't you put them? Yeah, why, well. Why didn't I put them what? I, thought, I said put the tins in and then pour the. Oh. Because I wasn't listening to you. I never do. You said, why didn't you just pour it in when you got them in there? Which is genius. Yeah. But, but after uh, the event. Yeah. It's, it's just not the way I work, is it? <laughs> I am try and create as much chaos as possible. Right. Where's the other half a line? I'm sure it's there somewhere. Anyway. Right. Get that out of the way. So, to recap, we've got... How long do those need, Helena? <coughs> 20 minutes? 15 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Um, so on here we've got our lemon tarts. Can't open them up now because they've got a rise. Can't do that with bacon. No. On here we've got our stuffed turkey breast. A uh, turkey, yeah, crab. Deboned, stuffed. We're getting some nice smoke. A little bit where the stuffing's, a little bit's fallen off. Uh, but we've got that in there. I'm going to cook this to 70 degrees uh, internal. Uh, and then let it come up the last few degrees. So we basically put in a stuffing of apples, some chorizo, some bread, some egg, bit of salt and pepper, parsley. bit of parsley. Thank you, Andrea. You're welcome. Rolled it up, tied it up, and now we're just spin spinning it. So it'll have a lovely even cook. So that's two cooks. Our third cook, and we love this one. So let's show you what what we're part way through. Um, so I'll show you that first. I'm just going to get some cheese. Uh, I haven't got a grater. May you get grab me a grater? Right in here, <laughs> cooking at two hundred degrees. You should uh, have seen that. Samantha has said you've just set a timer on Siri on her HomePod. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. Awesome. It's probably. Oh, yeah. Well, you can remind me now when to take it off. Yeah, I'll probably, no... I'll probably ignore the buzzing watch. Let yeah, us know know. when it goes off. So we're at 200 degrees. We in here already. We have, and I'm just going to peel the foil off. One of these gratins. Now this is part way cooked. Um, so you can see we've got beetroot down the middle. We've got sweet potato on the right. Oh, they're softening up beautifully. And on the left, we've got parsnip. But I'm going to put four in the next one. And now what we're just going to do, we're going to cook it a bit more, a little bit of Gruyere over the top. Because it isn't cheesy enough. But you'll see how we make this in a second. Love it. So now that's just going to cook on the top. So let's show you how we do it. I've done some of this already. Just wipe that, it's all right. It's just, ooh, hello. hello. Hang on, let me get the bit of foil that's going to fly around the garden. Right, so do, what I've done, I've taken my four different root vegetables, peeled them and then sliced them thinly. So you know, you can do this with a mandolin, just watch your fingers, mm. you can do it with the side of a grater. Uh, I actually just chop them by hand with my knife. Um, so you can see they're all pretty thin. Can I ask a question? Yes, you can. Uh, Phil has asked, mm. when using the Genius, yes. do you set it to get the Dome 180 or the Grey? I've got the grate, so I've got it clipped onto the grate. I don't clip it onto the dome. They're not a lot different. As, and as you know, Phil, coming to one of our classes and you've been to loads, 20 degrees either way doesn't really matter. So, yeah, mine's clipped right next to the baking stone, so we be doing the, 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 the baking stone where, where our pies are. Where our, yeah, our pies, lemon tarts, our tarts. Right, don't let me put breadcrumbs in this one. So, we've got vegetables chopped up. Now I'm going to add about just under 50 millilitres of cream. Measured. Yeah. Measured perfectly, really, yeah. Really. Yeah. We're going to add about half a teaspoon of thyme. Who knows? We're going to chuck in about... <laughs> that much? No, not all of this probably, because I think I did one, the one I've done over there is a bit cheesy. So about 30 grams of parmesan. So this was just a big block. I chucked it in the Thermomix this morning and just judged it, or um, blended it. So we've got thyme, we've got uh, parmesan, we've got our beetroot in there. Now this is gonna get messy. Now what you wanna do is just squidge it around with your hands. And we're trying to get cheese and cream onto all of those bits of um, 
beetroot. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Forgot to do that. Um, you could add a bit of salt, but I'm going to go with adding it later uh, because the parmesan is really salty anyway, and so is Gruyere. So anyway, so we've done that. That's looking good. In this one, we've got our parsnips. In this one, we've got our sweet uh, sweet potato, and in this one, I've got some celery. So now, what you do? Grab your bowl you're going to bake it in and grab your first vegetable and you want to make little stacks does that make sense so mm -hmm. just line them up stack them up and I'm going to go I reckon we can get four across here if at a push so we'll stack them up like that so that's all our beetroot wedge it in and if you're going to be uh, short of space you can just turn them slightly at an angle that makes sense yes because then we'll get more two more stacks there and one there I'm just gonna wash my hands because I don't want to ruin those other ones uh-huh yeah so any questions Helena? Uh, no I don't think we've got any more questions my the oh no good to see you've started drinking Right, so we're going to do, repeat that process. So I'm going to now grab our uh, parsnip, which I've already cut. You can see some of these are a little bit more chunky than others because I was it was early this morning. So I'm going to get these, stack them, and put them there. Oop. These are gooey. These have got they get quite sticky because you get so much cheese on them. They are delish. We've made this. Oh. What, so wait, what veg have you got in there, Nick? So, so far, I've got beetroot. This is the parsnip going in. Yeah. Uh, so I've got two beetroot approximately for this size. But it all depends on how big your beetroots are. Uh, I've got two parsnips chopped up fairly finely. If you've got lots of little bits, you can bin them off. So these are those parsnips going in. Probably too much to be honest, I won't need all of that. But you want to line them up so they're fairly neat. <coughs> yeah. We're gonna go in with our sweet potato. Might yeah, we'll split them so we can see what they are. So this is so easy. It's a bit gooey and a bit, you know. But oh, we had it at the weekend and it so was it delicious veg, uh, any root veg yeah. so we've got celeriac uh you can't i think carrots would work if you've got some big fat chunky carrots yeah. uh you could do it obviously do it with potato a gratin made with potato is delicious I guess so you could do sort of like a turnip or turnips yeah swede any of those oh, any root oh, veg yeah. right so that's looking good just just Get them all to the end. I've got a little bit left over, but that doesn't matter. And then our celeriac. So I just wanted to try this. We didn't do it with celeriac the other day. Um, oh. But I love celeriac. And we had a. I don't think Kerry likes root vegetables. So what could you. I guess you could do it with things like. Um, you might not want to shout, Helena, because you're not. Or come over. Um, what are, what other things could you do with root vegetables? could you use so you could I guess you could do it with something like courgette and oh yeah yeah but that's more yeah courgette it's more of a ratatouille than a but I guess it would work Phil well, did Phil, it Phil, Phil Nurse amazing. look at Kerry look at Phil um, what's his um, Phil and his grill Phil and his grill he did and a mate uh, I've been wanting to do it for ages and of course Phil did it just the day I was thinking oh, I'll do that and Phil did it and it is it's stunning he's done a, a lovely Ratatouille, so it's, it's courgette and then carrot and then and then, the, but he he's done it so that it's one color, the next color, in a in a circle and made it look so pretty. Right, let me just wash my hands. So yeah, some of those things, aubergine. <coughs> okay, so I've got another question. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Shout, remember you're not allowed. Coming over. That's no good. Uh, so 
Darren has said, how often do you top up the egg with charcoal? He noticed his temperature climb wasn't great, so he emptied the charcoal and put in a complete fresh basket which solved the temperature. Yeah, um, if, so every, what you'll find that when your charcoal burns down, you get lots of the little bits. The little bits will block up all the holes. So after a while, if you've got lots and lots of little bits, just take them out, put them in a bucket, put new charcoal in, and then you can add them to the top and you can reuse it then, it won't impact your airflow. Uh, so yeah, I don't throw it away, you can still use it. How often do we top them up? I took, you know, I add new charcoal to them all the time. <coughs> Probably every five or six cooks I uh, take stuff out. Maybe, no, maybe not even that often, for every, every 10 cooks. Um, yeah, I was obviously either drunk or under the weather this week, because I came to two of the eggs and they were still open, all the charcoal burnt away. I'm not turning them off. That's unlike me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> anyway, cheers. cheers. Right. Cheers. So let's have a little look. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Bit greasy, but let's have a little look at this. So that's our tart to tan. Our tart to tan. Our <laughs> root vegetable gratin bubbly whey. I probably put a little bit too much cream in that one. Um, but that's for us. So what I haven't shown you. Now we've got this all finished, it's all sitting in. You should pour over a tiny bit. Don't go mad. It might look like it's quite dry, but that's plenty. Um, that didn't have much more than that in it, and it's you can see how wet it is. And then get some garlic, and just sprinkle your garlic over the top. This is about a clove and a half, something like that. You just want to give it a garlicky flavor. Now. It looks lovely. So that, that's the first bit. So what we then do is put foil over like you saw, uh, put foil over the top, put it in at 200 degrees and cook it for about 45, 50 minutes, at which point your veg should start to soften up. Then you can take your foil off and that's what we just did. Grate your gratin over the top, uh, your gruyere over the top, and then just finish baking it. And what you're looking for is that the veg are really soft. So let's have a look at these. So. Oh yeah, that, that's just going straight through those. It smells delicious. It is unbelievable, Andrea. I'm looking forward to that. So we've got those. Yay. Let's have another look at our turkey. How are we doing mm -hmm. our time? We're doing all right. Samantha's um, got the series set for us by Nick's home, uh, on her home pod, so that might... So there's our turkey bombing around. I can't tell you what temperature it's at, because I've got the probe in there. Back. There we go. Back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you see? They're just they're still wobbling in the middle. Are you that supposed to have opened that it? That doesn't matter. <laughs> that one's that one's nearly set. Those are still wobbling. So another few minutes on those. But they are going to be good. Right. So let's go over here while we. I think we're done with our our cook. I'll bring that over so you can see. Um. Well, we're not done because we need to get those off so you can see them. Two minutes. Two minutes. I reckon another three or four, but anyway, look at the mess I've made on my doing that. That's what chefs do, I'm sure. It's better than using your jeans like yeah, you normally do. There you go. Right, what do we need to tell you? Uh, the website is up and running. Thank God. Our new search feature is up and running. The search feature, which was stopping the checkout, so we didn't get any orders for a while. <clears throat> it's all up and running. Our classes for next year are all up there. We have got some special classes. We've got a curry and uh, we've got a world street food class. They are filling up very fast. Um, so if you want to get on one of those cooks, uh, I suggest you book soon because once they're sold, they're sold. Um, we were fortunate enough to win a pizza oven the other day or two. So we've now got enough pizza ovens that we will be able to run pizza classes. Well, we will have enough pizza ovens. That's a good idea. So we will be running much shorter classes, uh, you know, afternoon, evening class, uh, pizza classes next year. Uh, might be slightly more people, but we'll have lots more. I mean, we've already got one, two, three, four different types of pizza oven here, and we'll have some more. So, um, <clears throat> so that we are gonna run some pizza classes, which will be exciting. Uh, we are doing some filming up. Soon. Yep, back. Back. Yep. Oh, so we haven't solved our IT problems by the sounds of it. We've got a poor connection. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we'll be doing some Marco stuff. Uh, what else? 
do I need to say? We have got our Christmas pages are now up on the website. Um, so there's all our ideas for our Christmas recipes. Uh, there are also gift ideas up there. Uh, I've already been asked about Black Friday. It's not something we do. Uh, having said that though, if a manufacturer is doing Black Friday, we will do... We'll pass it on. We'll pass it on. Mm -hmm. So um, I know there's one manufacturer that is doing Black Friday. Uh, it's not Big Green Egg. Uh, they never do it and never will. Uh, but as, as usual, give us a ring on Big Green Egg stuff. You know we always um, like to give you a good deal. Uh, anything else, Helen? Am I ready? To, can I go and grab the tarts? Yes, uh, well, yes, I think it's telling me you're done now. Yeah, my watch is buzzing, so I'm, okay. I'm sure. Right, that is looking pretty sexy. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put it on our board. Oh, that sounds good. Yes. So it's definitely cooked through. It's probably a little bit cheesy. We love it. <laughs> so I'll bring the board over, in fact. Okay. In a minute. Okay. <laughs> Over here. Coming. They're all set look. No wobble. So I just wobble the top and you'll see they're all set. So we need now need to cool them a little bit. Oh they come and just see. They look fabulous. They're yeah. Amazing. So I'm gonna put them on here to cool. Mm -hmm. Oh hello, nearly stuck my fingers in them. Don't wanna do that. And then, when they're cooled down a little bit, you can dust them with icing sugar. So, delish. I'll probably just bring them over. Okay. We're not going to get our usual finish today because there's just. Get that out of the way, get that out of the way. Ooh, bring this. You stay there, Andrea. Okay. And then of course our turkey, which we'll take photos of. So a before and after. How's that look? Right. Very good. Anything we need to say? Uh, um, we are away the week after next for two weeks, but from midweek to midweek. So the shop will be shut. Well, it won't be shut. It'll be taking orders, but we won't be shipping anything. If you order big green egg stuff, we will still be able to process that and get that shipped to you. Uh, if you order things like Let's Cues and those sorts of things that we ship, they won't ship until we're back from our holidays on the 7th of December. Um, so yeah, but we'll still be putting up the winter offers or the, the Black Friday offers. Um, Big for Space is already on offer by the way, there's 10% off that. There's a brand new Big for Space canopy, which is stunning. We're gonna get one put in, just don't know where yet, probably over there. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Um, so those are on offer, yeah. But all the Christmas stuff will go out soon. And we're, now Helena's on board, we are shifting through recipes, getting <laughs> things up online. That's how um, she rolls. Yeah, even if she doesn't ever make it to work on time in the mornings. Oh. Um, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, any comments, Helena? Uh, no, I think people are looking forward to it. Uh, so um, Irish Egg did ask, he's doing, I think he's doing Thanksgiving this year rather than Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. So I asked for some inspo. So I suggested looking at the website. But yeah, if you go to the search at the top right and just type turkey, if it's that sort of thing, or <coughs> Thanksgiving or whatever, Christmas, it will show you on the left hand, it'll show you products on the right and on the left hand side all of the recipes and all the pages on our website that relates to that. And there are tons, absolutely tons. It's the eat. Helena now just uses it to find recipes. You know, it's yeah. the by far the easiest way of yeah. finding them. It's so yeah. quick, I, I it's, it it's genius. It depends what you want your main to be. So if yeah. you want beef, just, tap, just punch in beef and yeah. then, yeah. Yeah, or, or the other way is go via the recipes thing. It will then show you the different uh, main, you know, beef, pork, chicken, click on that and you get a whole heap of different recipes. So I think there's about 400 recipes up there yeah. now. Yeah. Jeez. So yeah, yeah. Um, so, and we've been putting on probably about 10 a month at the moment now we've got Helena on board and we'll continue to do that yeah so so yeah. turkey one's really good to go I haven't done the rest yet but. yeah we'll get this out we'll tell you how that is we're gonna have this for our dip we've got all the family coming over tonight again 
think we did that on the last cook. Yeah, we? so I think mm. uh, just a um, a little shout out. Poor old mum's not been very well, so she's not here today. Yeah, right. wish you well, mama. Um, of course, I didn't mention that mama wasn't here, did I? No, it's terrible. So we got the gonks instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, Mark from Norwich said, any tips for partridge? He was given two yesterday, fully feathered. Oh, well, you can pluck them, draw them. If you're up to that, if you want to do that, which we, you know, we've done. Um, I worked with a chef at Petersfield Nursery, and he did the partridges, uh, plucked them, drew them, uh, left the skin on, obviously, but then cooked them on the plate on the convector. So a bit like there's a recipe we do with lamb where you turn the convector up the wrong way, feet down, and he cooked them directly on there, and just kept moving them around and it worked an absolute treat. Just a little bit of seasoning on them, tiny bit of oil on them, and then just keep moving them and turning them on the convector. Because they're only tiny, um, they cooked really, we did pheasant, we did partridge, we did quail, we did all, all of those the same way, and it worked really, really well. Um, and it was the first time this, this, uh, the guy had ever used a big green egg, so it was really cool that he just said, oh, let's do it on that, and it worked a treat it will crisp it up so get your egg probably 180 200 degrees get your convector nice and hot and then cook it like that uh, so the next cook will be something like i think it's saturday next, the it's the day after a couple of days after we get i think it's the ninth ninth, ninth the or the tenth, tenth the whatever December. the saturday is uh so it won't be a christmas cook we wanted to give you some some ideas before then these can probably come out now can't they sorry I've, I've, I've gone really quiet, haven't I? Uh, um, so, but we, I think we didn't we say we're going to do some party foods? Yeah, we're going to do some party foods and so on. But let me just dust that one. Let me take this out of the way. Just for the final bit of the cook. Uh, it says, I've lost it. Here's we go. I'm probably going to throw this everywhere, so... I need two, don't I? You can't have yeah, one. No. Sort that Let's get out. another one out. Get that out. That one looks like it's going to come out easily. Yeah. Um, these little casings are linked from the recipe. They're only Amazon. They work a treat, don't oh, they? Oh, they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think they were, what, 10 quid or something? Yeah, for eight. With a little for cleaner eight of them. Well. Oh, with a little cleaner that isn't me. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> They look, that's they look cool. There you go, so two of our cooks. Let's get that one out of the way. I think that looks lush. Good right. job. Um, we're around all week. I'm going to play golf one day, but I don't know which day. Uh, yeah, we're around all week. So if you need anything, want any advice, anything, just give us a call. So thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you again soon. All right, take care, guys. Cheers.